What's up guys, it's Core Impulse, and today I will be bringing you a nice drop shadow tutorial using GIMP. I'd like to say that in this video, it's basically for my GIMP users because Photoshop has wonderful tools to allow you to apply the drop shadow effect to any of your layers, and it's just amazingly well done. The filter that allows you to apply drop shadows in GIMP right there not very good so that said let's get started going to make a new canvas using control n make it 1280 by 720 I don't really care what my resolution is so I'm just gonna use a gradient tool to make a background use a black and a blue and radial yeah. Not exactly what I would. Right. Over there. Okay. That should be good. Z plus plus. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to make my text layer. First of all, I'm going to make it white. And, I don't know, use Times New Roman this time, I guess? 200? Is that good? Yes! Maybe a bit more. 25. Oh god. A bit too much. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with 200. There we go. That works nicely. Gonna move this to oh, oh poo. I'm gonna move this to about the center. Nah. All right. I'm going to make a new layer and click OK. And I'm gonna make sure that that's above my text layer. I'm gonna right click my new layer. And I'm gonna merge that down. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna combine it. That way I have this alpha area in the background that I have to work with. I'm gonna right click my new layer click alpha to selection, so that's just going to select the text, that's not going to select the alpha layer, which the alpha layer is all these little squares where there isn't any color there, so that's not selected, just the text. And then I'm going to use the select drop down menu and grow the selection. Now what you grow is going to depend on the size of your text and your personal preference, but for this tutorial, I'll use about 8. And I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to put that below my text layer. And then what I'm going to do is use my fill tool. For drop shadow, I'm going to use black or some kind of gray color, but I just recommend using recommend using black because as long as I keep it as a separate layer I can change the opacity which I'll show you in just a little bit. I'm going to fill the whole selection and fill that in. Then I'm going to use select none tool. So there we go we have our text it has a nice little outline. I'm going to select my layer that has the black. I'm going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now People will tell you all kinds of different sizes you can use here. This is really your personal preference. The higher the number is, usually the more blurred it's going to get. I like to use around 15, so let's just do this. And as you can see, it just gives you this nice little blurry effect. And it's very nice, so what I can do is I can change where this drop shadow is, depending on where my light source is, and well, you're, you're just going to do that, and that's about it. So, let's see, is there any way I really want to make this any better? Well, not really, because this is just a really simple tutorial. But, there you guys go. There's how to make drop shadows in GIMP. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day. Please leave a like, comment, rating, and don't forget to subscribe. That's all.